Hello, everybody. We are halfway through RSA Conference 2017 week, and I don't know about you, but I've been having lots of great conversations with customers, partners, analysts, and just the general buzz of the conference is tremendous. But one of the things that I've picked up in addition to IoT and mobile and, and uh, threat actors and all of the, the language that's going on, um, the one thing that stands out for me is analytics. Now, you're hearing analytics all over the place this year. It's one of the key themes. It's been in several of the keynotes. And in analytics, um, you know, really the theme that I'm pulling out of this is we can't do it all. That if you're relying on humans and, uh, and point solutions and certain technologies, uh, just across the board, you're not going to be able to catch or detect or remediate or even know what the hell is going on within your environment. You really need these, uh, you know, advanced analytics and, and these, uh, these platforms that can run across your network, run across devices, can look at user context, the location of the user, and really figure out, are you dealing with a robot or are you dealing with a human? And where I find this particularly interesting is in the field of identity. Uh, because the threat landscape now includes mobile, web, social, cloud, and all these traditional on-premises platforms. So really, there's no way that just simple passwords or even passwords combined with other multi-factor authentication methods can really do the job that we need to cover all the bases that, that need to be covered. So analytics has really jumped in there as a way to figure out, hey, are we really dealing with the person we think we're dealing with? And what's that probability? And then based on that probability, can we apply some business sense to that? In other words, business-driven security. Can we apply some business sense to that to then say, this is the policy. So if we're 99% sure it's that person, everything matches up, you know, then we will accept a password plus uh, some type of multi-factor authentication. If it's less than that, we may even block the person off our network. So I thought that was a really interesting key takeaway, and I would invite you to, to uh, look at what RSA is doing in this space by going out to rsa.com and looking at our solutions in the RSA Secure ID Access uh, page there. So have a great conference, and I'll check back with you later.